Emma's looking good now. Yesterday, I think he got 35 stitches out of his face, but feels like a couple days ago, I think it was a couple days ago, I was scooping blood out of this guy's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I'm pretty stoked that you're out here jumping. It's the end of the season. It's nice and warm out. Snow soft and spring light. And we built up this big jump up in Whistler Mountain. And we've got like six skiers and like four or five snowboarders. And it's just gonna be nothing but good times and a fun little last throwdown. Two hundred bucks! to the, uh, the 60 footer that was supposed to get backed up like 15 feet, but I'm pretty sure it got backed up like 25 feet. 30 feet. feet. It was <laughs> big, man. It was three skiers and three snowboarders it and we're all standing around like looking at this thing. Just everybody ridiculous. was just super scared, like thinking it had too much pop for being that long. And so we ended up doing some speed checks and everybody's just like, I don't know, man. There is no telling, man. All I know is I started down where Freddie was yesterday. At the end of the day, it went straight. It went fucking deep. went deep. Deep. So I started but this up. is like way deep. Yeah. <laughs> this really increases. Man. So we just hung up there and speed checked it for like two hours. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but maybe I was way too fast, dude. You didn't hit it, Jackson? 
I don't know, I'm just thinking about it. It's either now or never. Or soon. You for sure had enough speed. Just, uh, I don't know, dude, that could have been way too much. If you overshoot this, you're going to be dropping like 100 feet out of the sky. That's what we were talking about. <laughs> like, Bushfield owes me 200 bucks. We're standing at the top of the end he's like, yo. I'll hit it right now if you relieve me my $200 debt. <laughs> uh, going once, going twice. Stop sitting on top of the inner end of a huge jump here. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm just. This one's serious and nobody's hitting it because it's so big. Because it, we hit it yesterday and then like doubled the size of it. I was like, Ma, you think I should hit it? I think I got the speed, but I don't know. What do you think, Ma? <laughs> He's like, No, if there's any question, do not hit it. Alrighty. I think you would have stepped up and hit it. You're the next guy in line for sure. I don't know, man. Hajor made my life a lot easier, buddy. Hajor pulled it together and just hit, sacked up and hit it. Hit perfect tranny, stoked us all out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah! Sick! If it wasn't for a jar, I don't even know if we would have hit it. Probably not. I don't think so. Ended up working out, everybody had a good time, and everybody got a couple shots. Every line, and I've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind. It's like a design is written in his head every time before he even touches a key or speaks in a rhyme. And those other fellas he runs with the kids that he signed, ridiculous without even trying. How do they do it? This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. This is 10% Crazy, man. I was pretty sick that you came out of that Buddha session being as big as it was with no injuries. Yeah, no, it's because that landing was so Yeah, nice. yeah. 